Yo guys, I'm Nick from Produce School and welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a breakdown for melodic techno. Breakdowns are an important part of a melodic techno track and normally they are very ambient with a lot of analog sounding sounds. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today as well. If you're searching for melodic techno sounds, go to the link in the description. We have multiple packs and a bank for Diva which all contain really cool sounds for melodic techno. Now, without further ado, let's dive into this video. So I have this breakdown project here, which I'm going to deconstruct, but first I wanna preview it um, so you guys know what it sounds like. What we think, we become. As you can hear, it's a really cinematic kind of sound and it's something that I personally really love to make. Right now, I'm just going to start to deconstruct the arrangement, the synths, the drums and the effect sounds. And hopefully this will be very helpful for you to get a better insight in the layers of a melodic techno breakdown. So often in melodic techno, you will face really long tracks, um, like six plus minutes. And the breakdown only really comes in after your first drop, so really after three or four minutes, you normally get some kind of breakdown or buildup, and it actually works to release tension after a drop. And then you can slowly start to build back to uh, the next drop. You have to keep this in mind, so try to start off very minimalistic and then build up already towards the end of the break. And then after the break, you can create something like a buildup and then play another drop. So let's suppose here, just in front of this first part of the break, there is a drop. Then slowly these pads fade in and it will just release all the tension from the drop and you can start over again. What we think, we become... Let's now dive into the synths that I used. So the first element that I want to discuss and which is probably the uh, main element are the pad sounds, which is a layer of two pads. The pad is playing a chord progression which looks like this, a pretty simple one. It's a chord progression in an A minor scale, which is a pretty good scale if you want a bit more of these dark melodic techno vibes. And then I basically just mess around by adding a few notes or just deleting them. And as you can see, this is the MIDI out, which isn't doing anything with the full chords. Then there is a CS80, which is playing like two or three notes um, for every part of the chord progression. And then there is an analog lab, which is playing the top notes of the chord progression. And this is a really cool trick to split your chords and assign them to different pad sounds because this will give you a really unique chord texture and will also help you to make it sound more full without really overdoing it. So the first sound is from CS80, which is an emulation of the real CS80 synthesizer. Analog Lab has a lot of these kind of plugins and I would really recommend them as they are very, very useful for melodic techno. And the synths itself, they are simply just too expensive to get in real life and it takes up a lot of space. So this alternative is perfect. That sound sounds like this. And it's a preset called Deep Modulator. 
Next up, the top of the chords is being played by another analog lab, and this time it's the Prophet 5, um, which is another emulation. The preset is called Folded Synthwaves. And together they sound really good. In terms of processing on these pads, I just did a low cut and I got rid of some of the high end as I wanted to keep a bit of space for the lead and the arpeggio. A bit of reverb to make it really wide and atmospheric and a suit with the preset synth mid cleanup uh, and suit is a dynamic resonance suppressor um, which actually helps you to remove like resonant frequencies in real time which can be really useful in a sound like this which switches harmonics a lot so that's really a useful plugin for these kind of sounds next i have layered the pads with a um, choir and this is a really nice way to really get that cinematic sound um, to your break. And the choir sounds like this. It's very dreamy and atmospheric um, and it does the job really well. And the sound is from Augmented Voices, which is once again from Analog Lab by Arturia and it has plenty of cool presets that you can mess around with so you don't even have to do anything yourself you can just tweak it here but the sound itself are of a really high quality already for the post processing there's just a little low cut and that together with the pads sounds like this I created a cutoff automation on the pad so it opens up um, like towards the impact part of the breakdown and there is a volume automation. I just want to keep the pads completely silent uh, on the beginning of the breakdown and then slowly bring them back in here. As you can hear it's a really rich and warm sound and this would be really hard to recreate with like a serum just because it will sound really digital faster. You can achieve the same sound, but it will be way harder. Um, so I would really recommend to just check out these kind of plugins. Next up, there is a bass. So in the breakdown, you also really need to add a bass at some point. Um, and you need to imagine yourself in the crowd at a festival, and then you will realize why you need that bass, because the bass will really give you the wow effect in the crowd already for a breakdown. It will really like make you vibrate and in my opinion that's one of the best parts of melodic techno um, when you see it live. There are two approaches to uh, adding a bass. So when you're creating a track and you have a rolling or a rhythmic uh, bass in the drop, you can add that to your breakdown or you can add a separate kind of breakdown bass such as a Reese bass or something sustained. And in this case, I went for this Diva preset, um, which is just following the bass notes. It's a really fat uh, sound from our Nova sound bank and it's basically a sustained style bass um, with a plate reverb on it as well. I didn't take it off because it sounds great. And if you want you can also play around with the cutoff because if you open it up The sound consists out of two layered sound waves, um, which results in this really fat sound. Together with the pads, you already get the feeling. You already really get. You already really get that. You already really get that big breakdown feeling.
In this case, we are not going to use a vocal, so we're just going to stick to adding some more plugs and leads. So, so we have this lead and it sounds like this. And the melody that it's playing is simple and it's really hinting that there's something coming. So again, a bit of that build-up effect already in your breakdown. And that's a result of the notes going up right here. It's a saw lead from Diva and it's really cool. And the key element is that LFO, that LFO 2 right here is linked to the filter cutoff, which is what results in the like stuttery effect uh, of the lead. I added a filter automation and a cutoff automation to add some movement to the sound. Because the melody is playing in such a big range, I added a suit once again um, to make sure those resonant frequencies that come up with every note it's playing um, don't interrupt the mix too much and a low cut so uh, we create more space for the bass. Then a rhythmic plug um, which sounds like this. It's a really simple plugin for it's a really simple preset from Diva, once again from the once again from the Nova sound bank. And then there is an EQ to get rid of the low end and some of the high end. And a fruity panomatic, which makes it pan from the left to the right um, throughout the track. And a plug like this really helps to fill up space and to add something rhythmic to your breakdown. Then the last synth is this ARP which is playing a really fast melody, a bit inspired by, I think, like the older Tale of Us tracks that have these kind of arps. It's a preset from our pack Horizon uh, in Serum, and it's really short. I shortened it a little bit with uh, two saw waves, one with six voices of unison, and that's linked to the MG Low 18 filter, and just some standard effects such as delay, Together, all the synths sound like this. It's really about layering a lot of elements in a way that it doesn't sound too messy. So it really has to complement each other. Then there are some very basic drums in the second part of the breakdown, which are some loops, a percussion and a clap. And then the FX section um, with a lot of ambient sounds and you should not underestimate those ambient sounds as they can really help you to give that final little extra uh, to your breakdown. So they sound like this. Sounds like this really help to complement with your pads and basically all the rest of your breakdown. And then there are some sweeps and reversed vocals to make sure that everything transitions smoothly. And that's already it for this breakdown. And I'm going to play it once again for you. And I hope you learned a lot from this walkthrough about how breaks like this are made. What we think, we become.
I hope you guys like this video. If you guys have any comments or suggestions, make sure to leave a comment down below. If you want to check out the sounds that I used in this video, go to the link in the description and you will find multiple melodic techno and house sample packs and preset packs. Any support on these will be highly appreciated from our side, so make sure to check that out. Also make sure to follow us on Instagram for daily producer tips and tricks and subscribe to never miss out on a new video. For now, I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.